Hey guys, this is Mark McDonald. Welcome back to CreativeMarksUniversity.com's new and updated and exciting YouTube channel. We have a lot of new and exciting content both here as well as at CreativeMarksUniversity.com. And let us know if there's anything particular you'd like to see by writing in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again, guys. So again, I just want to kind of draw through the process and give you a kind of insight into how I might go about looking at a character and designing them on location. I think that you just can't get enough of that. And, you know, it's a never-ending fun process. So I, I kind of just want to draw here. I might comment and do a little bit of instruction, but I, I'm sure I'll be obsessed with just doing the drawing. So a lot of times, you know, I, I instruct a lot. I instruct it at Disney, you know, on my blog site, on my website, uh, Tumblr, I, I give proper instruction and Instagram and all those amazing social media tools. But sometimes when you draw, it's, it's different than instructing. So I'll, for once, I'll shut my mouth. And I'm just going to kind of draw so you can see the process of how I might come up with a particular sketch that's a lot different than just me starting and stopping when uh, I'm instructing. You could kind of see the pure process. So I'll probably tune out here. Kind of getting these three shapes that I talked about in a previous YouTube video, rib cage, midsection, pelvis, really go after the hieroglyphic shapes or the feeling of uh, the female form, the hourglass shape. So um, this happens to be uh, a, a, a young lady, uh, a nice young lady that I saw um, at the local Starbucks near my house. And I've never forgotten the particular kind of jean shorts where the pockets are turned out, which is pretty awesome. And she was a busy boo, as they say. She was definitely on her phone with one hand, by the way, because she was still looking tough and cool. So it is summer here in beautiful Southern California, and it takes skin to win. A lot of people are showing the goods because it's so hot. So there's a lot of belly piercings are still in. I remember that, it looks like a little barbell. Yeah, also the thing is, people are starting to layer stuff where you think that they sh they're, they'd be wearing tights. She had these awesome boots, actually. She had these tights underneath. Um, her jean shorts, which I don't understand at all, but hey. So the big thing is to have these ridges or these cut, cut holes in the, uh, in the tights. Also, again, I just, one thing that's important is to not change your pace or, or stop your creative flow is to have multiple pencils of the same 
medium you're using next to you that already sharpened so you don't have to deal with that. So yeah, I mean, there are all these like rad rips and tears in, in these uh, tights here. So she was a thicker girl in a good way. I don't, I'm not trying to say anything. That's what I would favor too, by the way. So these things kind of help point and give you direction. Literally, were like tights, and, but ripped. They had a little frayed on the edges. So just a simple value underlay, maybe a couple cast shadows, give you ha a little overlap, right? Which is that principle of the ball on top of the square. Just that shadow gives you a feeling of overlap and a bit of perspective. So I do that a lot, actually. Doesn't matter what it's for. But yeah, maybe a little tone there. Shorts, tone there. And uh, she was definitely trying to be hip and cool, which I am neither. So she had this rad hat, actually. It had this buckle here. So you could see the inside of her, her head and her hair. So you can see kind of the, the process of building it up. It is shape driven, but I'm trying to also give you volumetric cues and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty fun. It's got the feminine form, but it's got all these overlapping clothing pieces, which seems kind of silly because it's so hot here. 100 rings, 100 bracelets, a couple tattoos. She kind of had a butterfly, if I remember right. So maybe that was to help her fly or go through her life, whatever. Some It had significance. So. Her hair was actually really beautiful. Long flowing, kind of stair-stepping hair. Back of her skull showing. Cool little part here. Bangs in the front and of course, awesome epic earrings. Gaped open mouth as she was looking at her phone and the cool part about the my memory is that she was actually looking over her glasses kind of like you would see in a movie of, of an older person at like a library or something not that going to a library isn't cool Simple shapes. Um, she had little like, it was almost like her pinky was holding in all this. And of course she could use her thumb to slide over and text and do all that kind of stuff. Because I'm not cool and I can't do that. On my flip phone, just kidding. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, so I'm always just trying to work back and create composition and pushing you in and making you flow back to the form, meaning all these lines, her, her top, her hair, all that stuff is, is literally to draw you back to her and, and what she's doing, so. Yeah, it's kind of something like that. You know, I could get in here and sculpt the forms and do all that stuff or, or create a, some sort of a pattern that identifies the material alone as 
its own identity without having to three-dimensionally render it. Cash out of here. Warm. She had awesome earrings. Old school. Yeah, so I'm sure I would render the boots and do all that stuff darkly. Darker, excuse me. So I guess what you can see is it has some sort of feeling. It has a little identity. There's a little attitude and personality, which was the purpose of me choosing this subject and really going after, I guess you would call this a memory sketch. So, you know, I know it's a short little tutorial or a little sketch that's, that's on YouTube, but I do have to say that this is very familiar. This is something that I do all the time. In fact, part of my instruction, instructing, is to give people the opportunity to utilize skills and practice them on their own. So these are technically, could be considered warm-up sketches or sketchbook sketching, which I've talked about before in previous videos, whether it's on Creative Marketing University or on YouTube. Thanks for watching this little sketch on uh, YouTube here. Um, you can kind of see this whole process on Creative Arts University, Volume 3, where I'm talking about sketchbook and its importance. You can see me start from the very beginning in a rough sketch as you did in this video, but taking it all the way to color rendering with markers, you know, adding highlights, all that kind of stuff. And this, this is just something that I do all the time and I, I love to do, and hopefully you get a chance to see that on creativemarketinguniversity.com. So don't forget to subscribe and click like, we'd appreciate it. And I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments as it would help me create new videos for you guys to watch. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.